Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today is, well, it was, the end of August 2022, so we're doing another installment of the Monster Cat Monthly Rankings, where I go for my top 10 Monster Cat songs on uh, all three brands, Silk Instinct and Uncaged, and put them into one list, kind of thing like this. And uh, before we hop into it, uh, <laughs> we're starting with quite a few remixes, and uh, overall, I honestly thought the month was okay. I didn't love it, uh, but we'll get into that a little bit more. So uh, without any further ado, here we go. Number 10. The Faint Remix of Last Summer, obviously originally by Weird Genius Tokyo Machine featuring Lights. Uh, this is just kind of a classic, great Faint DNB track. It's really not a ton different from something like this to his other tracks. I think it's just solid Faint, solid DNB. I, uh, I'm not over the moon about all this stuff, and I really like DNB, but uh, this is just a just a, a solid track, so that's why it lands on number ten. Number nine, the "Can't Let You Go" Ace Aura remix, originally by Arm and Hammer and Abandon, featuring Rin. Uh, this was, I don't know, an, another great remix that I really enjoyed. Uh, I didn't love it as much as some other remix, which we'll get into in a second from this package, but uh, it was still nice. I liked hearing Ace Aura be a little bit more uh, melodic and not as chaotic with this kind of track. Uh, the weird, I, I get that it's labeled as electronic and not anything else, but uh, it, was, it was a nice kind of change of pace from Ace Aura. I've heard a lot from him the last couple uh, months and uh, just, he's kind of all over the place and uh, this was one of the more uh, happier songs from him, I would say, so. Number eight. The Falling Apart Crank Dat remix, originally by Arm & Hammer, featuring Run this time. And uh, very similar to the Ace War remix, this is a kind of brighter approach from Crank Dat that we don't normally see from that kind of producer. Uh, this time it being an instinct track rather than Uncaged, we've got a little bit of uh, that kind of weird Electro House that I hadn't loved as of recently from Crank Dat, but this is uh, this is a return to some style that I, I personally appreciate a little bit more. And uh, again, just like the Ace Aura, I like that it's a nicer, brighter approach while still having that classic um, crank that sound to it, and so I, uh, I actually think the vocals actually stood out a lot more on this track than they did on the original as well, and so uh, all around, solid one. Number seven. The Last Summer Air Jordy Remix, the last remix, spoiler for this list, uh, obviously originated by Tokyo Machine, We Are Genius featuring Lights. Uh, this, this surprised me. I had no idea who Air Jordy was. He's got under like 2,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, so I'm sure not a ton of people know who Air Jordy is, but uh, this really surprised me with how uh, there's a lot going on, but still managed to make it sound quite cohesive and make the sounds really flesh and flow and, and just, it was just smooth. It was smooth while still being that hectic and chaotic sound. And uh, I don't know, I, I this is my favorite version of the the remixes and the original. I, uh, I this really surprised me with how much I enjoyed it. Number six. Starlight by Rogue. Uh, well, I didn't enjoy this as much as his last track. I uh, I still really do like Rogue a lot. I just, something about his vocals, I've just always had a certain nostalgic feeling for. Maybe it's because I listened to Rogue. There was some of the earliest monster I listened to was a lot of Rogue and I just, I love what he does, and so I'm glad to see him back, glad to see him producing this more bright, happy feeling. I obviously preferred his Instinct stuff more than his Uncaged, even though Rattlesnake is a banger. But uh, I, I'm liking this and I'm excited for the new track coming out soon. Number five. Without You by Hello World, the Clouds in My Basement EP is out. And uh, I thought the EP was pretty solid. In the end, uh, Without You was one of my favorite tracks. Uh, I enjoyed his kind of meshing of the kind of trap-ish sound on those kind of hi-hats and triplets while still having that kind of 8-bit nostalgic electro feel to it. It's a weird mesh of both while it's still sounding like a kind of uh, dream pop soundscape. It's uh, it's quite the cool atmosphere and style and uh, I, I like Hello World's production. Even though I was a little underwhelmed with the EP as a whole, uh, this track I really did enjoy. Number four. Uh, 
Heartbeat by Bad Computer, the return to house of sorts rather than the kind of pop, electropop dance stuff that he's been doing as of late. Uh, this track is solid, um, not too crazy. It's nothing like um, his last EP that he just came out with. And uh, it's really not like anything that he had just released with his popular stuff. It's a kind of more laid back, bad computer track. Uh, no real vocals, it's kind of instrumental for the most part. And uh, it's just a great example of a solid production, solid quality track uh, with not a too, too much going on, but uh, still in a, in a good way. It was kind of a, just a nice, clear cut, clean song. Number three. Angels by Whipped Cream. I really surprised myself with how much I enjoyed this. Uh, by far my favorite track from Whipped Cream as of late. I've been putting it on repeat a lot recently. I love the kind of weird trap bass fusion of sound and I actually really like her vocals on this one a lot. Something about it is just easily earwormy and it just stays in there and it's just, I don't know, it's 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 very fun. It's It's very fun even though I, I think the music video is personally the, the worst music video ever on Monster Cat, but uh, it's, it's still a solid song. Number two. Industrial Strain by Coven. The kind of release of the new EP is finally here. And uh, this track, I, uh, I really did enjoy. I'm a sucker for DNB Coven especially with the last drop being more of a drum step sound rather than an, a pure DNB. Uh, I don't know, I'm I'm a sucker for, for drum step Coven, DNB Coven. It's kind of, a, this song felt more like it was uh, something off of the butterfly effect compared to the last three songs on the EP or the other three songs on the EP. And so uh, I personally resonated it with, with it a little bit more, uh, but we'll see what happens with the uh, part two, I'm assuming of the EPs coming up, but uh, we'll see. Number one. Pretend by Hello World featuring Adam Turley. Uh, my absolute favorite song of the month. Actually, no question here about it. And uh, my favorite song from the uh, Clouds in My Basement EP. Uh, just a solid track all around. I want to echo what I said uh, with the last song, with the last song without you as well, of the kind of weird, fun, kind of trap, trip, poppy sound mixed in with these 8-bit nostalgic vibes and the electro sounds. Uh, makes for a great kind of combination of tracks and a great feel-good atmosphere and tone, uh, as well as the vocals. I think are fantastic on this. Um, I have never heard of anything before from Adam Turley, but I really, really like the vocal performance from this specifically. So uh, that is it for this month in Monster Cat, August 2022. Those are my thoughts, my top 10. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. But other than that, I'm Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.